If I have control over it, it gets a perfect score. If not, it gets a zero. The things you're stressing about will either happen or not, and worrying won't change that. This isn't something I'm forced to do, it's something I get to do. It's not a burden, it's an opportunity that adds value to my life. Imagine being the person who has to decide everything every day, facing choices in every situation, feeling worn out, and eventually heading towards burnout. That's where rules and a code of conduct come in handy. Think of it like a guide for life, and this idea has been around for thousands of years in Stoicism. So, let's break it down with 50 simple Stoic rules for a better life. Follow these, and you'll find yourself getting better at whatever you do, no matter where you are or what challenges come your way. Number 1. Question if it's essential. Inspired by Marcus Aurelius, pose a crucial query to yourself at each juncture. Is this truly essential? The reality unfolds that a considerable portion of our activities, time investments, and the pursuits of others often lack true importance. According to Marcus, by cutting away the non-essential, you unlock a dual advantage. Not only do you enhance your execution of essential tasks, but you also free up valuable resources. Ask yourself a straightforward question. Do I really need to engage in this? The answer is either a clear yes or no. If it is deemed essential, then commit wholeheartedly, channeling all your energy and effort into the task at hand, recognizing that focusing on what truly matters leads to more impactful outcomes. Number two, hold on to the smooth handle. Inspired by what Epictetus teaches us, picture every situation like a door with two handles, a bit like what Epictetus talks about. Always go for the handle that feels smooth, just like you'd choose the easy way to open a door. One handle is strong and makes a difference, while the other isn't as helpful. Now think about the situation you're in. Which handle will you grab? The one that makes you feel stronger or the one that brings you down? Follow Epictetus's idea and reach for the handle that helps you grow, gives you good challenges and brings positive changes. Imagine it as following the advice of a wise friend. Just like Epictetus says, go for the handle that lifts you up, motivates you, and moves you towards better things. Forget about the other handle. It's like the one that doesn't really work well. Every situation has these two handles, and Epictetus encourages us to choose the one that leads to good things. Number three, see everyone as an opportunity to be nice. According to Seneca, each person is an opportunity for kindness, and this philosophy extends to every situation a principle worth highlighting here. Kindness acts as the essential key, propelling us forward. Never let a chance for kindness slip away. Take the opportunity to be generous, to show empathy, and to genuinely care. Be compassionate, lend a listening ear, and genuinely appreciate what someone is experiencing, for in reality, everyone is facing their own challenges. It's the undeniable truth that each person is navigating something significant. Embrace this perspective, understanding that every circumstance is an opening for kindness, fostering connections, and making a positive impact in the world. Number four, concentrate on things you can deal with. The wisdom of Epictetus guides us here. He emphasizes that life's primary objective is to concentrate on what lies within our control. Ask yourself, is it within my influence or is it beyond my reach? If it falls under your control, give it your full 100%. If not, assign it a resolute 0%. Our energy, efforts and emotions find their potency in areas within our control. So, center your focus on the elements you can manage for therein lies the realm where your actions truly matter and contribute to meaningful outcomes. Number five, 
master your reactions to life. Building upon the previous notion, consider this. While we may not dictate the occurrences in our lives, we indeed govern how we react to them. Epictetus, echoing this sentiment, underscores that our power lies not in controlling events, but in managing our responses. By deliberately overlooking the aspects beyond our influence and abstaining from regret, complaints or blame, we pave the way for constructive action. Instead of dwelling on the what-ifs, shift your focus to what now. Embrace the forward momentum by contemplating, this happened, what am I going to do about it? This approach, adopted by remarkable leaders, artists and individuals alike, centers on the mastery of one's responses to life's twists and turns, acknowledging that true control resides in how we navigate and shape our reactions. Number six, practice empathy. Understand and share the feelings of others. In the Stoic tradition, Seneca highlights the value of putting ourselves in others' shoes. Stoic empathy means acknowledging that we all face similar challenges and joys in life. When you practice empathy influenced by Stoic principles, you're contributing to the overall well-being and interconnectedness of humanity. Seneca encourages us to see the world from different perspectives, fostering a deeper understanding beyond our personal judgments. As a Stoic empathizer, you embrace the role of a virtuous guide, working in harmony with the universal order that binds us all together. Number seven, asking for help is a sign of courage and strength. It's crucial to understand that vulnerability and asking for help are not signs of weakness, even in the Stoic philosophy. Marcus Aurelius compares it to a soldier seeking aid to overcome an obstacle, highlighting the collaborative nature of reaching out for assistance. So, don't hesitate to be vulnerable and ask for help. Shifting the perspective, seeking assistance is not giving up. Rather, it's a bold refusal to surrender. Embrace the idea that there is courage in acknowledging when you need support. In the words of Stoicism, be fearless in your willingness to seek help, recognizing it as a powerful expression of strength and resilience. Number eight, live with purpose. Let it guide your life. According to Epictetus, living with purpose involves aligning your actions with timeless virtues like wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. Think of it as having a clear roadmap that helps you navigate life's challenges. In simpler terms, living with purpose in the Stoic perspective means making choices that reflect these enduring virtues. By doing so, you're like a sailor steering through the waves, finding strength and direction in your commitment to a virtuous life. The Stoic call to live purposefully is an invitation to build an inner fortress that remains resilient in the face of external challenges, all while striving for the fulfillment that comes from living a virtuous life. Number nine, daily, think about the fact that life is not forever. Have you considered reflecting on your mortality lately? I keep a token in my pocket bearing the words memento mori, a reminder that at any moment life can cease. Marcus Aurelius urges us to recognize the brevity of life, emphasizing the importance of not squandering precious time on trivial matters. Navigating through our journey with a keen awareness of our mortality becomes vital. Life, as Marcus aptly puts it, is brief, and it's wise not to dwell on inconsequential things. Infusing our daily existence with a profound understanding of our limited time heightens the significance of our choices and actions. Number 10. Develop patience. Master the art of waiting. Seneca sees patience as a refined art within the Stoic tradition. Picture patience as a masterpiece in which you acknowledge the impermanence of external circumstances while preserving inner tranquility amid life's unpredictable currents. According to Stoic teachings, especially Seneca's 
on the shortness of life. Mastering patience is akin to skillfully navigating the river of time with stoic grace. Seneca emphasizes that patience isn't a passive endurance, but a dynamic strength that fortifies the stoic spirit, allowing you to face life's challenges with a resilient and composed demeanor. Number 11. Learn to say no when needed. Drawing inspiration from the idea of assessing the essential, the key principle here is to become adept at saying no. Reflect on the fundamental rule. If a task or commitment is not essential, the answer is a firm no. Consider that with every yes, there is an implicit no to something else. This concept is universally applicable, urging you to be mindful of what you decline. By confidently saying no to non-essential obligations, you create valuable space and time to wholeheartedly say yes to endeavors that hold true significance. Ponder on what you'll decline this year, strategically making room for meaningful affirmatives that align with what truly matters in your life. Number 12. Have courage. Face your fears. In Stoicism, Epictetus encourages us to face our fears with bravery. Stoic courage doesn't mean you're not scared. It means overcoming fear. Think of it like a philosophical battle cry echoing in Stoic teachings. Following Epictetus's advice, Stoicism teaches us to recognize our fears, analyze them wisely, and still choose to do what's right, even when fear lingers. So Stoic courage is like a strong foundation, helping us rise above challenges and act in line with the highest moral principles. Number 13. Don't judge other people. Building on the idea of being tolerant with others and strict with yourself, Seneca emphasizes that the study of philosophy involves addressing your own flaws, not critiquing others. He advises leaving people to navigate their own mistakes, especially those you don't know or fully understand. Seneca's wisdom lies in focusing on personal growth, being self-disciplined and refraining from judgment. Instead of evaluating others, allow them to manage their own challenges and struggles without your judgment. Number 14. Honesty is the foundation of trust. In the Stoic philosophy, championed by Marcus Aurelius, honesty stands as a bedrock virtue, shaping the character of the Stoic practitioner. Delving into his meditations, Marcus Aurelius contemplates the enduring power of honesty, framing it not merely as a social convention, but as an integral virtue that strengthens the inner core of the Stoic individual. Rather than being a mere external obligation, honesty becomes a moral imperative, acting as the guardian of one's integrity. According to Marcus Aurelius, this commitment to truthfulness is an essential thread weaving trust not only within oneself, but also in the intricate fabric of human connections. Number 15. Get wiser bit by bit every day. According to Seneca, the journey to wisdom involves discovering one thing each day, whether it's a meaningful quote, an enlightening story, an insightful conversation, or a thought-provoking book. The idea is to enhance your understanding gradually focusing on one element at a time. This philosophy encourages actively seeking out valuable insights every day, allowing you to find one thing that contributes to your personal growth. It's akin to exploring diverse sources of wisdom consistently, emphasizing the importance of continuous learning for a wiser life. Number 16. Treat others with respect, the golden rule. In the Stoic philosophy, as voiced by Epictetus, the Golden Rule finds resonance as a guiding principle for treating others with respect. This echoes the Stoic virtue of justice, where fairness and equity form the pillars of harmonious social conduct. Infused with Stoic teachings, embracing the Golden Rule means acknowledging the inherent worth of every individual and cultivating interactions that contribute to a virtuous cycle. Epictetus's wisdom invites us to navigate the intricacies of social dynamics with a simple yet profound understanding. 
By treating others with respect, we set in motion a reciprocal exchange that aligns seamlessly with stoic ideals of wisdom and compassion. Number 17. Think about the group, not just yourself. Marcus Aurelius emphasizes that we're not alone in this world. Harming others or letting harm come to them ultimately harms yourself. He suggests that if something would be bad for the collective, the hive, it's also bad for the individual, the bee. I consider this by asking myself how the world would be if everyone acted or lived like I do. If the answer is that things would fall apart, I try not to engage in those actions. The idea is simple. What's bad for others is bad for me, and what's good for me should also benefit others. Number 18. Maintain optimism. Have a brighter perspective. In Marcus Aurelius's Meditations, Stoic wisdom shines through on the importance of maintaining a positive outlook. Stoicism acknowledges life's challenges, but encourages an optimistic mindset grounded in accepting what we cannot change. Stoic optimism isn't about expecting everything to go perfectly. It's about adapting to whatever comes our way with calmness and resilience. By embracing this Stoic perspective, you strengthen your inner resilience, facing life's ups and downs with a hopeful attitude. Number 19. Prioritize time over money and possessions. Recognize the significance of time over wealth and possessions. While you can accumulate more money, land and opportunities, the moments that pass are irreplaceable. Seneca urges us to perceive time as belonging to the present, emphasizing that every passing moment is a step closer to the inevitable reality of death. Rather than viewing death as a distant future event, consider it as something unfolding in the present. Every choice you make, including watching this video, is a transaction using the currency of your life. So, value your time wisely, for it is a finite resource that cannot be reclaimed. Number 20. Seek balance in all aspects of life. Seneca highlights the Stoic pursuit of moderation and balance. Seeking balance in the Stoic context is a conscious effort to align with the natural order and live in harmony with reason. Seneca's teachings, notably found in On the Happy Life, advise against extremes, urging recognition that virtue resides in a balanced middle path. The Stoic quest for balance extends inward, addressing emotional and judgmental equilibrium, fostering a life attuned to the core tenets of Stoicism. This principle encourages a holistic and centered approach to living in accordance with Stoic ideals. Number 21. Follow the footsteps of great people. Seneca wisely remarked, he who fears death will never do anything worth of a man who is alive. Imagine you're an apprentice in a blacksmith shop. Your master blacksmith has years of experience crafting exquisite pieces with skill and precision. Instead of reinventing the wheel, you closely observe their techniques, asking questions and learning the nuances of the craft. In doing so, you inherit not just the knowledge, but the wisdom that comes from years of trial and error. Following in the footsteps of a master blacksmith, you gain insights that accelerate your own progress, turning you into a skilled artisan in your own right. Number 22. Adapt to change. Go with the flow of life. Heraclitus, a philosopher whose ideas influenced Stoic thought, famously stated, the only constant in life is change. This aligns with the Stoic acknowledgement of the impermanence of all things. Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher, builds on this wisdom by urging us to discern what is within our control and what is not. The Stoic approach to adaptation entails embracing change with a calm mind, recognizing that resistance to the natural order of things only leads to unnecessary suffering. In simpler terms, understanding that change is an inherent part of life and learning to navigate it with acceptance can bring tranquility to the Stoic practitioner. Number 23. 
Let go and forgive. Embrace the power of forgiveness. It's like giving a gift to yourself. Marcus Aurelius wisely advises that the best revenge is not becoming like the person who wronged you. I'd add that it's crucial not to cling to the hurt. While it's important to address dishonesty or injustice, holding on to grudges only brings misery. Forgiveness is liberating, allowing you to move forward without the weight of resentment. So forgive, not just for others, but for your own peace of mind. Number 24. Cultivate a growth mindset. Your perspective shapes your reality. Epictetus, in his teachings, encourages the stoic mindset of continuous improvement and learning. Cultivating a growth mindset, influenced by stoic principles, involves viewing challenges not as insurmountable obstacles, but as opportunities for personal development. Imagine it as adjusting the lens through which you see the world, where setbacks become stepping stones on the path to virtue. The Stoic growth mindset emphasizes the dynamic nature of the human spirit, resilient in its pursuit of wisdom and moral excellence. Simply put, it's about turning challenges into opportunities for becoming a better, wiser person. Number 25. Look for the good in people. According to the Stoics, it's essential to try to see the positive qualities in others. While they acknowledged the world's challenges, Marcus Aurelius, in particular, advocated for finding something good in everyone. This approach isn't just about being optimistic. It's a practical way to avoid feeling miserable and unhappy. By making an effort to see the good in people, you not only improve your own well-being, but also contribute to a more positive and harmonious world around you. It's a simple yet impactful practice that can make a big difference in how you experience life. Number 26. Your habits shape who you are. Understanding the influence of habits on our lives is key. Think of your habits as building blocks that shape who you are. Following the advice of Epictetus, if you want to embody beauty, consistently make choices that reflect beauty. Similarly, if excellence is your goal, Establish habits that align with excellence every day. Over time, these habits add up, defining your character and influencing the results you achieve. So, the path to personal growth involves cultivating positive habits that align with your goals, creating a steady and positive transformation in your life. Number 27. Engage in self-reflection. Understand your thoughts and actions. In the Stoic tradition, self-reflection stands as a powerful tool for personal growth. It's about taking moments to honestly assess your thoughts and actions, fostering self-awareness and understanding. By regularly engaging in self-reflection, you create a mental space to align your choices with Stoic virtues such as wisdom, courage, justice and temperance. Think of it as a compass guiding you through life's complexities, allowing you to navigate challenges with a clear understanding of your values and a steadfast commitment to living virtuously. Number 28. Recognize your ability to remain neutral. It's natural to feel bothered by various things, and the Stoics advise that we hold the power to withhold judgment. You possess the capability to simply have no opinion about something if you weren't aware of its existence, you wouldn't form an opinion. Now that you're aware, you don't have to categorize it as positive or negative, it just exists. Objectivity is key. Withdrawing judgments is essential, as Epictetus wisely notes that it's not the things themselves but our opinions about them that cause distress. Take control of your opinions to maintain a more balanced and objective perspective. Number 29. Admire others, recognize and celebrate achievements. In the Stoic realm, practicing admiration aligns with the virtue of benevolence, as emphasized by Seneca in his letters on moral philosophy. Stoicism encourages acknowledging and celebrating the accomplishments of others without letting envy cloud your perspective. Seneca's insight guides us to draw inspiration from the excellence of those around us. 
realizing that their success doesn't diminish our capacity for virtue. This stoic approach to admiration fosters a virtuous society where individual achievements are celebrated, contributing to a collective spirit that appreciates and encourages shared success. Think of it as embracing a mindset that uplifts everyone on the journey toward moral excellence. Number 30. Own the morning. A strong start sets the tone for success, so take charge of your mornings. If you aim for a good day, begin with a good morning. The same principle applies to crafting a good life. Marcus Aurelius engages in a self-dialogue, debating the temptation to linger in bed. He concludes that the purpose isn't to stay warm under the covers, but to rise and do what you're meant to do, fulfilling your purpose early on. The essence lies in taking initiative and embracing the morning to set a positive trajectory for the day and, consequently, for life. Number 31. Love unconditionally. A heart without conditions. In the Stoic philosophy, Epictetus emphasizes the profound idea of cultivating a heart without conditions. Unconditional love, guided by Stoic principles, transcends personal desires and attachments. Epictetus encourages us to extend love generously to all of humanity, acknowledging the shared spark of reason that unites us. This Stoic perspective on love involves embracing a universal kinship, where compassion flows freely without expectations or hidden motives. Picture it as embodying a love that knows no boundaries, contributing to the Stoic vision of a harmonious and interconnected cosmos. It's about fostering a genuine and boundless love that reflects the Stoic understanding of our shared humanity. Number 32. Conduct a daily self-review. Embrace Seneca's practice of evaluating your day by putting it under scrutiny. Ask yourself questions such as, what could I have done better today? And, where did I fall short of my aspirations? Delve into reflections on your character by contemplating, am I becoming the person I aspire to be? By regularly interrogating yourself in this manner, you initiate a continuous process of improvement. This daily self-review serves as a valuable tool for self-awareness and personal development, allowing you to identify areas for growth and refine your journey towards becoming the person you aspire to be. Number 33. Cultivate relationships. Nurture bonds with others. Seneca, inspired by Stoic philosophy, emphasizes the importance of meaningful connections for a fulfilling life. In the Stoic context, building relationships involves fostering connections based on shared virtues and principles. Seneca's teachings depict friendships as gardens where mutual moral growth can thrive. Picture it like tending to a garden, where the shared values form a fertile soil for bonds to flourish. By following Seneca's advice on relationships, you contribute to creating a supportive community rooted in virtues, where individuals help each other on the journey toward wisdom and a fulfilling life. It's about nurturing connections that enhance the soil of virtue, fostering collective growth and well-being. Number 34. Avoid unnecessary suffering from imagined troubles. Seneca's wisdom teaches us that our minds often cause more suffering through imagination than reality itself. This leads to the next guiding principle. Refrain from enduring troubles that exist only in your imagination. The things you worry about may or may not happen, and worrying itself doesn't alter the outcome. Seneca advises against feeling more than necessary, urging you to focus on the present tasks at hand. Don't contribute to your own suffering by anticipating or experiencing pain in advance. Instead, channel your energy into what's immediately in front of you, steering clear of unnecessary stress that accumulates and adds to your overall burden of suffering. Number 35. Punctuality is a sign of respect for time. Punctuality, 
a concept cherished by Seneca in Stoic philosophy, is viewed as a demonstration of the virtue of temperance. In Stoicism, punctuality goes beyond mere timeliness. It reflects an understanding of time's scarcity and significance. Seneca's teachings encourage us to approach our commitments with a sense of duty and respect for the limited nature of time. By embracing punctuality, you not only fulfill your obligations, but also align with the Stoic ideal of living in harmony with reason and virtue, recognizing time as a precious resource to be used thoughtfully. Number 36. Always find something you can do. As we discussed earlier, the key is to focus on your response because there is always something you can do. Echoing this sentiment, Zeno emphasizes that well-being is achieved through small steps. Even though these steps may seem small, they are far from insignificant. It's about recognizing that progress, no matter how modest, contributes to your overall well-being. So begin with the little things, start small, concentrate on the actions you can take in any given situation, and appreciate the meaningful impact of these seemingly minor steps toward improvement. Number 37. Avoid complaining even to yourself. In a fascinating twist, Marcus Aurelius, who didn't originally desire to be an emperor, shares a personal rule in his meditations. Never be overheard complaining not even to yourself. He underscores that complaints are unproductive and for those who don't seek solutions. Instead, he advocates for concentrating on constructive actions and finding the positive aspects in any situation. The key takeaway is to cultivate a mindset that avoids the habit of complaining, fostering a more solution-oriented and positive approach to challenges. Remember, Complaints don't contribute to progress, so focus on what you can do and the positive aspects of any situation. Number 38. Listen more, speak less. Zeno imparts a valuable lesson with the rule of two ears, one mouth for a reason. The wisdom here lies in the reminder to prioritize listening over speaking. By actively engaging in more attentive listening, you gain a deeper understanding of others' perspectives and experiences. This practice not only fosters better communication, but also promotes empathy and enriches your own knowledge. So remember the significance of having two ears and one mouth, a subtle yet impactful principle urging you to listen more and speak less for improved connections and understanding. Number 39. Avoid comparing yourself to others. Marcus Aurelius delves into the destructive nature of envy, a sentiment further echoed by Theodore Roosevelt, who asserts that comparison is the thief of joy. When you measure yourself against others, you're directing your focus towards something beyond your control, resulting in either inflated ego or diminished self-esteem. Instead, concentrate solely on your actions Resist the urge to compare. Follow the example of Kato, who set personal standards higher than those of others. When you succeed, assess how much farther you can go. And when you falter, question whether you've lived up to your own standards. The key lies in self-evaluation, maintaining focus on your own journey and avoiding the pitfalls of comparison. Number 40. Practice graciousness maintain poise and elegance. Seneca praises the virtue of graciousness in his letters. In the Stoic context, practicing graciousness means moving through life with dignity and composure, especially when faced with challenging situations. Seneca's wisdom guides us to embody poise and elegance, understanding that external events are beyond our control but our internal responses are within our mastery. By adopting a stoic approach to graciousness, you align with the ideals of virtue and inner resilience, transforming external chaos into opportunities for dignified and composed responses. This stoic perspective invites us to navigate life's uncertainties with a calm and graceful demeanor. 
Number 41. Savor moments. Find joy in the present. Epictetus, in his teachings, highlights the importance of mindfulness in the Stoic philosophy. To savor moments viewed through the lens of Stoicism entails developing an awareness of the present and discovering joy in life's simple pleasures. Epictetus urges us to value each moment without becoming overly attached, recognizing that the only reality is the current instant. Practicing this Stoic mindfulness means aligning with the philosophy's fundamental principle of focusing on what is within your control, the present moment, and fostering contentment regardless of external circumstances. This Stoic perspective invites us to relish the richness of each moment, finding fulfillment in the present. Number 42. Generosity. Freely share your resources with others. Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic Emperor, emphasizes the virtue of generosity in his meditations. Stoic generosity extends beyond material possessions. It encompasses freely sharing your time, compassion, and understanding. Inspired by Marcus Aurelius, practicing generosity aligns with the Stoic ideal of recognizing the interconnectedness of humanity. By sharing your resources selflessly, you contribute to the common good and reinforce the Stoic notion that true wealth lies in virtue and benevolence. This Stoic perspective invites us to cultivate a generous spirit, fostering a sense of community and shared well-being. Number 43. Inner Peace. Maintain Tranquility and Serenity. Seneca, drawing from Stoic philosophy, emphasizes the pursuit of inner peace in his letters. Inner peace in the Stoic tradition involves cultivating a tranquil mind regardless of external tumult. Seneca's teachings guide us to maintain serenity by focusing on what lies within our control and accepting what doesn't. By internalizing this Stoic wisdom, you navigate life's storms with equanimity, embodying the Stoic principle that true tranquility arises from mastering one's own reactions rather than attempting to control external circumstances. This Stoic approach invites us to find serenity within ourselves, fostering resilience and calmness in the face of life's uncertainties. Number 44. Live by your values for trustworthy actions. Epictetus, the Stoic teacher, stresses the importance of living with integrity. In simple terms, integrity means aligning your actions with your core values. It's like building a strong foundation of trust. Epictetus encourages us to stick to our principles, especially when facing challenges. By doing so, we not only build trust within ourselves, but also among those around us. Think of integrity as a key virtue in Stoicism, crucial for maintaining personal and societal harmony. This lesson prompts us to consistently embody our principles, creating a character that others can rely on, no matter what life throws our way. Number 45. Calmness. Navigate storms with poise. Seneca highlights the Stoic virtue of calmness in his writings. Stoic calmness involves facing life's challenges with composed and rational responses. Seneca's wisdom encourages us to navigate storms with poise, recognizing that external events are fleeting and our internal reactions are under our control. By embracing this Stoic calmness, you embody the principle that true strength lies not in avoiding difficulties, but in facing them with an unwavering spirit grounded in Stoic principles. In simpler terms, it's about staying calm in the face of adversity, understanding that maintaining inner tranquility is a source of genuine strength. Number 46. Curiosity. Maintain a constant thirst for knowledge. Epictetus, in his teachings on the Stoic mindset, emphasizes the importance of continuous learning. Cultivating curiosity through the lens of Stoicism involves maintaining a perpetual thirst for knowledge and wisdom. Epictetus encourages us to approach life with an inquisitive spirit, viewing every experience as an opportunity for learning. In simpler terms, 
It's about staying curious, always eager to explore, discover, and grow. Embracing this stoic virtue of curiosity aligns with the philosophy's commitment to continuous self-improvement and the pursuit of wisdom. Number 47. Empowerment. Recognize and unleash your potential. Seneca, drawing from Stoic principles, underscores the idea of self-empowerment in his letters. Stoic empowerment involves recognizing and unleashing your potential by focusing on what lies within your control. In simpler terms, it's about realizing your inner strength and taking charge of your actions and thoughts. Seneca's wisdom guides us to cultivate a resilient mindset, understanding that our true power comes from mastering our own thoughts and actions. By adopting this stoic perspective on empowerment, you align with the philosophy's core tenet that true strength arises from inner mastery and virtuous living. Number 48. Adapt and thrive in challenges. Epictetus, echoing stoic resilience, emphasizes resourcefulness in the face of challenges. Simply put, stoic resourcefulness involves adapting to circumstances with wisdom and creativity. In practical terms, it's about being flexible and finding creative solutions when faced with difficulties. Drawing inspiration from Epictetus's teachings, resourcefulness is seen as a dynamic strength that allows Stoics to navigate the complexities of life. By embodying this Stoic virtue, you become adept at turning obstacles into opportunities, aligning with the philosophy's resilience in the face of adversity. Number 49. Vulnerability. Open your heart and connect authentically. Seneca talks about the importance of being real in our connections with others. In simpler terms, stoic vulnerability means being open and genuine in your relationships. Following Seneca's advice, it's about recognizing that real strength comes from authentic connections with people. When you practice this stoic virtue of vulnerability, you contribute to building meaningful relationships and feel a deeper connection with the broader human experience. It's all about being yourself, open and honest, and appreciating the genuine connections that arise from it. Number 50. Extract wisdom from everyone. Ralph Waldo Emerson's insight, everyone I meet is better than me at something, resonates with the idea that there's always something to learn from each person. Even when you encounter individuals you may not like or respect, acknowledge that everyone possesses a skill or knowledge that surpasses your own. The focus should be on what you can glean from others, whether it's expertise, life lessons, or even cautionary tales. The essence lies in a continual commitment to learning. Embrace the notion that wisdom is cultivated by staying open to lessons from everyone reinforcing the belief that every person has something valuable to offer. As we conclude this exploration of Stoic principles, consider these teachings not as a conclusion, but as a beginning, a foundation upon which to build a life of virtue, resilience, and fulfillment. The journey of self-discovery is ongoing, and these Stoic lessons offer perennial wisdom for your continuous growth. If you found value in these insights, make sure to like and subscribe to stay connected with the wealth of wisdom that can guide you through life's twists and turns. As you integrate these stoic principles into your daily existence, may they be a source of strength, clarity, and profound meaning. Your journey towards wisdom is a lifelong expedition, and these stoic lessons are here to accompany you. Until next time, stay committed to your path of flourishing and virtue.